I need help. Uh, all the internet detectives out there, we need your help. So stay tuned and uh, let's see what we can do. What's up, guys and girls? Welcome back. I'm Ida Hoagie. Uh, this week, uh, we're doing a little bit of a more serious topic here. Uh, I need your help. Uh, so, Brad Booth, Poker Pro, uh, he's missing. He's been missing for a while now. And so, I'm calling, I'm making a call out to all you internet detectives out there because I know there's a ton of you out there that know how to dig and find literally anything and anyone. And so, these are the people that I am talking to. Uh, we need your help. Even if you're not in the poker world, uh, you might be able to dig something up for uh, the police and, uh, you know, maybe find some information. Uh, so, this is an article from uh, US Poker, uspoker.com. If you're not following, go over there, follow. I write some articles for them every month. My buddy Sean wrote this one here uh, just to get the word out to try to help uh, get some information out there. So, if you're not familiar with Brad Booth, Brad Booth was a poker pro that was like an up and coming um, player about 10 years ago and uh he used to play on the high stakes poker games so he that's what he's known for he used to play on there that's a picture of brad booth right there in the white so uh the family has reached out they're asking basically the public and poker community to help out brad booth is currently 43 years old uh a missing persons report has been filed with the police back in july and they're asking for the help so here's what's happening. Uh, July 13th, Brad Booth leaves Grand Sierra Resort in Reno, Nevada. He told his roommate, that's where he was living, uh, that he was going camping. Uh, but the thing about it was he only brought about one or two days worth of supplies. Now, we don't know if he got injured, if he got hurt, or something you know more unfortunate might have happened to him. Uh, this is a picture here. And this is a recent picture of Brad Booth here. You can see with the uh, blonde hair there. Uh, so not so much the dark hair you see here, but more blonde in this picture. But this is the vehicle that he was driving when he dis uh, disappeared. Now, as you can see also, they were able to uh, get a license plate number uh, there. He has a Nevada uh, license plate current, uh, currently. That's what he's registered under right there. Uh, he's said to be six foot two, 200 pounds. Uh, he's originally from Vancouver, Canada, Canada but uh, he now lives in Reno, Nevada. Uh, one of the things he's most fam famous for, if you want to check out this video, it's actually a cool video. Uh, one of the most famous for, he's famous for actually a famous bluff against uh, Phil Ivey. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but uh, this is him here on High Stakes Poker. And he puts a really crazy bet on uh, Phil Ivey. If you want to check that out, that's on that U.S. Poker page. But uh, he was uh, pretty epic back in the day and uh, known for some of these big bluffs. Uh, so the, the poker community is out there. We're trying to get some stuff together. If you find any information or you come across anything, uh, the Reno Police Department is investigating this matter. And Detective, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm not even going to try. But here is his name right here, Detective Tazy Chafalo, I guess. There's the phone number there. You can reach him at if you have any information uh, to get there uh, to contact that detective that's handling the case there. Uh, there's been news reports, and as of August 23rd, there's still been no update here. Uh, we're still trying to locate this guy and figure out where he could have been or what happened to him. I mean, listen, we're obviously all hoping for the best, but unfortunately it's been over months, so sometimes you got to think the worst, and, uh, you know, hopefully it comes about that we can find out some good information. Maybe he just got lost and he's somewhere surviving in the mountains i don't know uh but we hope for the best now this is his license plate 601 pmr papa michael romeo okay it's a little blurry there but that is 601 pmr nevada it's a uh, toyota tacoma uh there a little background uh as well if you want to see on his hendon he's uh, he has almost a hundred he has almost a million in live earnings 
Uh, his best cash was 319,000. He's mostly known though as a cash player. So that's Brad Booth. Uh, so once again, I am calling all you internet detectives out there. Uh, if you could help us out in the poker community, spread the word and uh, figure out what happened to this guy. Uh, he also has a Wikipedia page you can check out if you want some more information uh, to start digging and see what you can find. Now, remember, I'm not telling you to interfere with any police activity, okay? If you do stumble across some kind of information, please call that number. We're just asking for help to spread the word, share the information. Maybe somebody knows something, and please come forward if you do. So that's... Uh, that's what today's podcast is all about. Just a short little thing that uh, I want to get out there. And, you know, people think of poker and they think, uh, you know, just high stakes gambling and things like that. But, you know what, there is a lot of uh, good people out there in the community that look out for each other. So uh, I want to just do my part and try to spread the word a little more. So uh, thanks, guys. That's what I got for you today. Uh, make sure you are subscribed to Nerd Enthusiast. If you do find out any information, uh, I ask you not to comment below with that information. Like I said, contact that number to the family if you have legit information. Uh, but if you want to comment about the video or maybe something you want to add or some uh, things you want to see in the future, feel free to drop below. Please subscribe to Nerd Enthusiast. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Edohogi. So thanks, guys, for tuning in. Later.